welcome back. Um, today I'm going to continue talking to you guys about the Hidden series. This is going to be book two. This one is titled Lost. They're written by M. Lathan. Um, so this one continues off where the other one left off. We did find out that Lydia Shaw is actually Christine's mom. But it's, it kind of got me confused a little bit because they don't really explain that they take away Christine's memories and she doesn't remember that Lydia is her mom. Um, so in the first part of this book, she's still um, thinking that Lydia Shaw is just a famous person who befriends her. You know what I mean? Um, so in the very beginning, that's what happens. Um, Christine's powers continue to grow and she continues not to want to use them. Eventually, she does try and go through training where um, Lydia is actually the person who trains her how to use her powers um, and how to control them because as she gets, um, as her powers grow, they become harder and harder for her to suppress. So Lydia tries to show her how to control them and, and all of that. Um, it, in this story, late, um, the, her three friends, Paul, Nathan, and Anne, they decide to work with this peace group, it's called, um, where it's a, it's a group of people who go and help supernatural creatures, um, with food or anything like that, they become homeless or anything. So they're actually just trying to help out. They go around the country trying to help people. Um, so they join this group and they actually have to leave Christine for for two months, I believe, um, while they do this. Um, so that's a dilemma that Christine has to deal with. She's going to be all alone again um, because all of her friends are basically leaving her. The only person she's going to have left is Sophia and, of course, Lydia. Um, so the, the book progresses in that in that way. Um, I guess towards the middle of the book, they find out that Remy, well, they, in the beginning, they find out that Remy is still after her to take her to Cayman. Um, so Remy is still after her, and they, they have this plan where somebody they know is working with um, Cayman and Remy to open up a portal to a past time where it'll erase the fact that Lydia killed Julian and, and all of that. So they, are, they try to stop that portal from happening, but... Um, Christine is craving a different life. She's thinking, if my mom had told my dad that... Oh, she finds out her dad's alive as well. <laughs> That's a big part in this book. But anyways, so she thinks that if her mom had told her dad that she was pregnant, then their life would be completely different. So she actually uses this portal to go back in time where she makes her mom tell her dad that she's pregnant. And it's, the, it, it's like her world is turned upside down. She actually has to stay locked into this house underground she cannot leave um, she's basically imprisoned and the whole world outside of them is falling apart because Lydia Shaw wasn't there to stop the war you know what I mean to stop um, everybody from dying and she realizes that this isn't the best route so she tries to find a way to turn back time and good thing Sophia gave her a necklace and told her all you have to do is remember who gave you this necklace and so she has to use this necklace to go back and change things back to the way they were. Um, so it's kind of interesting because it's just a different point of view on how things might have been different if you made different choices. Um, sometimes you think it's better and it turns out that things work out the way they work out for a reason. So that's a good lesson to learn I suppose. Um, there's definitely a lot more to go on in the next book as well. Um, lots of surprises go on in this story. I would definitely check them out. And until next time, enjoy the adventure.